Hey guys, I, I uh, wanted to switch from uh, Evernote, which I've been using for about 10 years, to OneNote, um, because recently I had an issue with the offline notebooks, which, you know, if you don't have the paid account of Evernote, you kind of can't use your, you can't search for notes um, and get access to your notes um, on um, like airplanes or if you're disconnected. So it doesn't really store them locally or give the option to as far as I'm aware. Um, if I'm wrong, definitely leave a comment below and um, I can definitely look into that and that would be extremely helpful for me. But for now, I've um, looked into it and you can do that with um, Evernote. So I'm just gonna make, sorry, not Evernote, OneNote. I'm just gonna make the switch now just to see how it's like. Go for about a couple weeks and then we'll see. So you'll see this um, link here, onenote.com, um, import Evernote to OneNote, um, has a great little tool. And you'll see here, so it has um, the download the importer here. So let's give it a second, we'll try it out. So download it, we're gonna install it. I agreed all this stuff. Um, huh, okay. Interesting. So I do have Evernote installed for Windows. I'm using the um, Evernote um, Windows 10 store app, which might be a little bit differently. Right, so that was uh, pretty tricky. Um, interesting enough, so on the Microsoft uh, store, um, I had to uninstall it there. It didn't uninstall it from Add and Remove Programs. I had to remove it from Add and Remove Programs. Then I installed it from, you know, just Google download Evernote, log in, let it sync. And now you can see that it has found my notebooks, um, several um, businesses I you know have worked for or work for currently, um, and it's finding these notebooks. So let's go next. All right, so I'm going to sign in with uh, my Microsoft account. I'm just gonna pause the video here and sign in. All right, so now that I've signed in, um, it says, you know, do you wanna use the tags uh, uh, to organize content? I didn't really use tags, so I'm okay to not do that. Um, you know, notebooks to notebooks, pages to pages, so I'm good with that. I've signed in, so import. So I'm gonna just, uh, I guess, um, pause the video and come back when it's done. All right, guys, just, so just continuing here, um, got the notebooks all imported. Um, so you see when you click view notes on OneNote, it imports them all to this, um, to, one, to OneDrive. So that's kind of, what I like about this is Microsoft's using their own platforms to almost like in a hacky way sync their their OneNote stuff. They don't have their own one OneNote syncing service. It's very simply they're posting stuff on their own one, your personal OneDrive and then that's how it syncs around. All right, so now that everything's imported, let's just check out, um, let's actually close um, one, OneNote and reopen it, OneNote. And let's close this stuff, um, open other notebooks. <clears throat> so it finds all these ones here and I got some other ones, I guess. Um, so let's, I'm gonna just take a second to clean these up and uh, then I'll open, actually for now, I could just probably open the Amazon one, unless there's two. Um, sort um, by modified descending. So where is Amazon? There is, okay, so there's only one of that one, okay? So let's just open up this one and should just see. All right, so now all of my different Amazon reviews are all kind of in here. In the, and then I guess it adds it, you know, to certain pages. Um, so you're gonna have to clean up some stuff in here, um, make it kind of easier to work with, but pretty easy process using the, um, um, Evernote import tool from Microsoft and OneNote. So I'll probably give an update on how this switch from um, Evernote to OneNote is going, especially on the mobile side on airplane plane mode, um, but um, pretty easy process so far. Thanks.